DeAndre Hopkins just got cut. You know what that means, right? Howie Vision. Do your thing. Dallas still stinks. You might do it, kick dick back here. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. We got huge, huge NFL breaking news. And I think this could directly affect the Philadelphia Eagles. Why not? I don't know if Howie Roseman is taking the weekend off to go hang out on Memorial Day, but it's time to get back to work because DeAndre Hopkins just got cut. And we know who he would like to play for. One of those guys is Jalen Hurts. And if I'm the Eagles, I'm the Dallas Cowboys, or I'm the Giants, I'm going all in to get him. This is unbelievable. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support you give to me. Now, we got to jump right into this. This is, this is something, man. This is something. Now, some people expected that this possibly could happen. I was thinking it was going to happen if at any time after June 1st. But DeAndre Hopkins just got released by the by the Cardinals, right? Jonathan Gannon, a total genius here. Can't you tell? What a moron. All right, so Adam Schefter's reporting Cardinals released DeAndre Hopkins. That simple. He is cut. He is a free agent. Now, he can sign with any team he wants. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't have to worry about making trades with the Cardinals. You don't have to worry about giving them compensation to go out and get them. You can sit there. And you can negotiate with him and bring him in. Now, here's the key. Here's the key. He was on that, that podcast, was a, I Am Your Athlete, a couple days ago, right? We just we just talked about this. And he was talking about the guys that he want, that he would love to play for, right? Uh, and, and Adam Schefter posted this. Uh, on a recent appearance on the I Am Athlete podcast, free agent wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins listed the five quarterbacks He'd most like to catch passes from the Bills, Josh Allen, the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, the Ravens, Lamar Jackson, and the Chargers, Justin Herbert. Okay, now he would like to play on those five teams. When I look at those five teams, I think you could cross off the Chargers because they're cheap. All right, Ravens, they went out. They got Odell Beckham Jr. Are they going to go out and get another wide receiver now? Plus, they just gave Lamar a big contract. I think the Ravens, we could cross off the list. Um, then it really leaves you with three. Uh, the Chiefs, the Eagles, and the Bills. I think all any of those three teams could possibly be in play. Okay. Now you're saying, Philly, why do the Eagles need DeAndre Hopkins? They don't need DeAndre Hopkins. Listen, the Eagles have... Two great receivers in A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. There's no question about it. However, there, you know, there are questions about Quez Watkins, is there not? There, you never could have too much depth. If you put DeAndre Hopkins on the Philadelphia Eagles, you can't stop. Who's stopping him? Who, who is going to be able to match up with those three wide receivers on the field at the same time. You could move those guys all around. You could have, at times, you could put A.J. Brown in the slot. You could put Devontae Smith in the slot. You could move them on the outside. I think that this, if the Eagles do this, like I said in a previous video, it's checkmate. It's checkmate Charlie. You know what I'm saying? It is. Because if the Eagles can acquire him, they are going back to the Super Bowl and winning. I think they're going to do that anyways. But they definitely can do it. Uh, the Eagles should jump all over this because I see this as an opportunity. When when you have s that many good guys, listen, I, I'm I'm one of those people that you can never have enough good guys on a team. You can never have enough depth. The the issue will come with how do you use guys? What's the best way to use guys at times? Uh, I'm sure the Eagles can find a way to use all three of those guys on the field. But if you could go out and get DeAndre Hopkins, even if it's just for one year, to come in and play with Jalen Hurts, 
do it. And really, when I look at the list of teams that he would like to play for, the team that's the most aggressive that would actually do it to me seems like it would be the Eagles and then after that, the Chiefs. I, you know, I think the Bills will do it to a certain extent. If the Eagles can go out and get DeAndre Hopkins, it's over. It's over. Now, I say this saying this also. If you're the New York Giants and if you're the Dallas Cowboys, it should be imperative. It should be like a must all in situation that you go out and you find a way to get him on your roster. Like, if Dallas was able to get him and put him on that roster, uh, that would tremendously help them. Team. I think it would be a real battle between the Eagles and the Cowboys in that division. When you look at the Giants, the Giants don't really have outside help. There's nobody on the outside that scares me about the New York Giants. The Giants should be calling up and trying to get him. If both those teams want to keep up with the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC East, they should be jumping all over it. But they're dumb, and they stink, so they won't. But the Eagles, we got a shot here. We got a shot. And plus, look, if you bring DeAndre Hopkins in, you're keeping him off the Giants. You're keeping him off the Cowboys. You're keeping him off those teams anyways. So do it. Do it. This is an unbelievable opportunity for the Philadelphia Eagles here. This is a situation that Howie Roseman takes advantage of. These are the kind of things that happen that Howie Roseman takes advantage of. I am 100,000% behind the idea of going out and bringing in DeAndre Hopkins. Go get him, and then you'll have a, you'll have a dynamic trio, the best trio in the National Football League. Could you imagine the tears? Could you imagine the Mark Holmes crying baby videos? If the Eagles signed, <laughs> oh, it would be glorious. The excuses and all the resentment and all the worries they would have for the Eagles, it would take it to a new level. This is like, I hope, if Howie's like driving to the beach or wherever he is, like on vacation, you got you to gotta make the call right now. Go get him. Go get him. Get him, even if it's, even if it's for one year. Get him, and let's make a run, because that offense would be unstoppable. I think the Eagles should make a play, because it's it's such it's such a crazy move. It's such a crazy situation, and, and you can never have too many good players. You never can have too much depth, too many good players. And if the Eagles can utilize all three of those guys on the field at the same time, oh my God, how are you going to stop this team? It's Checkmate Charlie. That's what it is. Um, this is a situation that could be unprecedented. I'm telling you, the, to me, if the Eagles make this move, and I'm not saying if they are, I'm not saying if they're not, but if they do, guess what? Uh, nobody's beating you in the NFL. Now, listen, here's the thing. You may be saying, well, we don't need them, but we don't need them. You, you, you do. You, you do. Because it puts you above everybody else, everybody else to such levels that, how do you stop it? Plus, you're not allowing him to go to Dallas. You're not allowing him to go to Giants. So in essence, those teams really can't catch you. And and that's the issue I think Dallas and the Giants have. They've made a few moves, but I don't think they have done enough in the grand scheme of the offseason to help to help them. Um, you know, to help them when it comes to the Eagles. I think the Eagles still are the class of the NFC East and the NFC Conference. So to me, this is one of those situations that come around, I don't know, once every five to ten years, maybe, maybe not even that, where you're going to have a chance, where you have a, a, a receiver like a DeAndre Hopkins who's out there who could possibly come in and help a team that already has two number one wide receivers. You don't get that often. Uh, it doesn't happen often. Uh, the Eagles, they have the money to go out and sign him. They don't have to give up any draft compensation. They don't have to trade for him. They don't have to do any of those things. All they have to do is negotiate and find a way to sign him and get it done. So get it done. Let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm the Eagles, I got to jump all over this. I've got to jump all over this because if you do, man. I don't, I don't, I don't see how you lose 
I don't see how you lose. I don't see how you lose the conference. I don't see how you lose the Super Bowl. I don't see how a defense is going to be able to stop that offense. Look at the running backs they have. Look at the offensive line they have. Look at the quarterback. Look at the wide receivers and look at the tight end. You're adding him and bringing him to that team? Are you kidding me? It's just, it, I mean, it's not even, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Um, this would be glorious. This would be amazing. And I totally think the Eagles should jump on this. We are not talking about a trade now. It's a different story. When you're talking about trade, okay, it's one thing, right? You're going to go give up compensation. You have received. But when you don't have to give up compensation and you just have to find work a contract out with him and he wants to play with your quarterback, you got to take advantage of it. you got to take advantage of it. And I hope the Eagles do that. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember. It's how we vision. We're all just living in it. I want to see the crying. I want to see Mark Holmes melting down, punching uh, Dest. I want to see him flipping out when DeAndre Hopkins becomes an eagle. It will be hilarious. It will be hilarious. I mean, you guys remember this the other night. There's a Washington out. Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott. Any of these young rookie court? <laughs> cool. Then keep your ass away from us. Do you, you know what? I don't want to pay you that $29 million anyway. Kiss my ass, okay? Find your cash someplace else. How about that? I, I, I really don't know how to take this. And, of course, you know, want to say Jalen Hurts because they got a great team. I'll be honest with you. If you don't want to go to a trash-ass team, and I guess in a way, he's trying to say that the Cowboys are trash. First of all, Dak Prescott kicks ass in the division. What are you doing to get better? What are you doing to get better? That's the dumbest shit. Don't waste my goddamn time up in here with dumb shit. Seriously. If that's all the hell you got... Stay the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Make me lose my damn religion. Stupid ass. Don't waste my time with stupid ass shit. If, if, if you're, let me, let me just say, not even the Eagle fans, too. I got to say, even to Cowboy fans, they're like, just trade Dak, trade Dak. I'm sick of, well, you, you know what you need to do? You just need to find a new team. They're not trading Dak. They're not trading Dak. They're not cutting Dak. They're going to extend Dak. He's going to be here. As long as his body holds up. So if you don't like him, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Not a damn thing. So get over it. And instead of being freaking Mr. Negativity, okay? Instead of just being, I just hate that. Listen, how about we try something different? I'm sick and tired of all these people out there that just live to freaking hate. It drives me crazy. That's what's wrong with all of us right now. How about we try being a little kinder to each other? And the last thing I feel like dealing with is some goddamn immature, stupid-ass, bad-ass kids that need to be whooped. That's right, I'm lit. I'm tired. Shit. And I got power tools here, too. Would anybody else like to get a foot in the ass tonight?